Welcome to the latest episode of Thylobites. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the first of two sounds featured in our recent investigation video in a thylacine hotspot in southwest Tasmania. So let's just quickly revisit the experiment that we set up. So Chris and I were set up with our new high-tech thermal imagery equipment and our sound capturing device at the base of a tree. It was on a slight mound, 20 meters to our front was a fox distress caller. And we were using the fox distress caller to produce the sounds of puppies crying in the valleys. A well-known uh, anecdotal story is that thylacines were attracted to the sounds of crying uh, canines, crying puppies. 10 meters further out from that, we had a little acorn 6210 MC attempting to capture any images of any predators that were coming in towards that sound. So the sounds that we actually captured. So let's just have a look at that. And we'll just use this new Dexter software that we've got here. And I'll just play that sound on a loop. What I've done is I've run a low pass filter over this. I've amplified the sound by about 200% and I've also removed as much of the bass as I can as possible. So here's what the sound sounds like. So there you have it. So to my ear, it sounds like a yap sound. This wave form that you can hear in the visualization has only resulted after I've put that low pass filter in, the amplification and the reduction in bass. As you can see in the channel here, uh, the left channel, it doesn't appear naturally. That would tend to say that the sound is quite a distance away and you can see this area here and this area here is a visualization of the puppy distress calls this larger amplification is of Chris actually moving and saying that he'd capture something so that would again point to the fact that the sound that we recorded is quite some distance away so was it a thylacine that we captured in that valley well-known hotspot Great history, meets the three H's quite well, but we can't be certain. So for this reason, I've given this particular sound a one on the skeptometer. That essentially says that there's a, that's a 10% chance that that's a thylacine yap that we've got on that video. Be really interested to hear what uh, you think. Like a lot of uh, thylacine evidence, unfortunately, not very conclusive, but great to hear from you and to get your views on what we may have captured. That's it for this episode. Talk to you soon.